Welcome to week three of our MCCI Mondays, where we've been looking each week at a different resource provided through this MCCI process. The first week, we simply asked, what does the, the acronym MCCI mean? And we talked about them being resources that are being provided to us. Last week, we talked about the next resource in our journey, which is going to be our Express Day on March 6th, and that evening time when the whole congregation is going to come together and dream about where God is calling us to make history in this community. This week, we're taking a, taking a look at our next uh, prescription Sunday, as it's called, our next resource in this process. Now, when I hear the word prescription, I think of medications right away. I think of what is being prescribed to us for our health. And while that's not entirely wrong with this MCCI process, when I was really reflecting on what it means, I actually went to an old cartoon that I absolutely love. It's a 1936 cartoon, a Disney cartoon, as you may have been able to tell by the Mickeys next to me, and it's called Through the Mirror. Now, this combines two of our household's favorite uh, characters. For me, it's Mickey Mouse. I love Mickey Mouse and all of the classic cartoons of his. But my wife, Holly, truly loves the cartoon version as well as all the story versions of Alice in Wonderland. And so as we talked about Through the Mirror, this was Walt Disney's take on combining two classics together. But the reason why I was reflecting on this for this Prescription Sunday is because in the cartoon, Mickey is climbing around in his furniture and gets up next to a mirror. And mirrors reflect back to us what we see. It's an opportunity for us to take a look at them, to examine ourselves, and, and really to see what is it that we look like, to get a, a real accurate view. But just like in Alice in Wonderland, this mirror is actually flexible. As Mickey starts touching it and, and playing with it, he actually falls through the mirror. And as he goes through the mirror, he engages in this fantastical world where the furniture is alive and he gets to have a whole nother adventure there. The reason why I've been reflecting on this is because our prescriptions really feel like this multi-part journey in our resources. The first part of our prescription report will be read on March 10th for our Prescription Sunday. We're going to have one worship that day at 845. And during that worship, our MCCI team is going to present their report to the congregation. And the first part of that report is meant to be a mirror. It's meant to be an honest look at who we are as a congregation based on what they heard, based on what they saw, based on the experiences that that team had here a few days prior. But then the second report gets into, or the second part of the report gets into our prescriptions. And that's where the adventure begins. The prescriptions are these ideas for us to wrestle with, ideas for us to start discerning and praying about. To say, God, is this where you're calling us? These prescriptions are often calling us beyond what we could have ever thought or imagined. These prescriptions are inviting us to go deeper in our faith, to interact in ways that we may have never thought of before. They're opportunities for us to grow as a congregation, to improve as we think about my church can improve. They're opportunities for us to add that extra spice to our ministerial life. And so I hope that you're going to be able to participate in the Express Day on March 6th, but I also hope you mark your calendar for that next Sunday, March 10th, at 8.45 a.m., when our MCCI team will be offering their reflections on our Express Day, when we get to hear what are the prescriptions and start wondering, where is God calling us next? I can't wait to see you and all of yours in this wonderful ministry that continues to be shaped before our eyes. Thank you.